What do you do when his circle doesn't accept you as a trans woman? Hello, hello, I'm Mackie of My Transgender Date, the number one dating site for trans women. Before we dive into today's topic, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. I don't want you to miss our next video. Today, I'm going to talk about a sensitive topic. What do you do when his circle doesn't accept you as a trans woman? Is the relationship worth fighting for? Are you going to stand your ground against them? What's the best way to deal with it? My tips will be your guide to get things through this situation. But for this to work, you have to be really honest with yourself. First, I want you to ask yourself, are you sure it's your transness and not your personality? Have your own friends ever opened up to you about your behavior? Do you have people at work who have called you out on some of the things you do? Maybe it's not you being trans. Maybe it's your personality. There are some people who don't accept their flaws, so they often like to have the narrative of being oppressed. If it's like that, then work on your personality and try and figure out with your partner on how to address his social circle. Another common issue is when they think you're an opportunist. People may think you're only with your partner for money or social status. The best way to counter this is by loving your partner genuinely and giving his circle time. It takes time to build relationships, so it's best to be patient and continue showing his social circle your true intention. You could also spend time with your partner and his circle so they get to know you. This way, they can truly find out your intentions for themselves. What about if they comment on on you not being able to have kids. This can be a painful subject to talk about. But your partner already knows you are trans. If they are with you, then the inability to have kids has never been an issue with them. If your partner is okay with that, then that's the only person's opinion that matters. Other people's opinion about whether or not you should have kids is inappropriate and they should know better. If you and your partner truly want kids, then that is for you to decide. And my gosh, it's 2023, people. There are options. Another challenge you might face is when they say you're not passable enough. I think that that's a little bit too much. When his circle thinks this way, I think they don't understand that beauty is subjective. The best way to approach is not to engage. Don't comment back and don't let them bring you down. It might hurt, yes, but remember that how you look right now is how your partner fell in love with you. And I think that's all that matters. Lastly, this subject might be the hardest, but what do you do when there is an ultimatum of being disowned? It's already hard as it is when your own family disowns you for being trans but it can be twice as hard when someone you love gets disowned for your transness. It's understandable if your man is scared of being disowned, but if he can't accept the consequences of his life choices, that is a deal breaker. If this is a serious relationship, he has to accept the reality that this might happen. It's going to be the two of you who will take care of each other and share a life together. If he won't fight for you because his family will disown him, it's best to let him go. It will be then that he realizes what his priorities are. The takeaway from all of this is that being accepted by your partner's social circle can be a challenging thing in your relationship. But remember, communication with your partner is important to get through it. He is the key to making his family and friends understand your concerns and address them. As a couple, both of you should be on the same page with your decisions. I hope that my tips will help you and your partner overcome this. That's a wrap for this week's topic. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. See you in the next video.